in prom, I had like my standing date, but we didn't even want to mm. go. You want to go? She was type one mad, but we we made it work. Like we had a few dances, and even though we didn't want to go, and we weren't trying to go together and whatnot, it was funny to me. Zane remembered my date. I remember. I sure as hell remember you. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. It. I'm not gonna say who it is. I'm like God. I'm like that's you, you Joe. right? I'm like Joe, that's you. It, it threw y'all off, right? I was like, oh shit. I was like, wait a minute. I had to come. Because <laughs> she didn't go to school. That's nah, why I was funny. Yeah. Like, this is a whole type of booty. <laughs> this is a new booty. <laughs> I think that song came out too. <laughs> right around, around that, that time. time. Oh, nah, because I never really like, well, in middle school, right? So my first, like, Bob, not my like, second, like, crush crush was middle school, right? And middle school, I was already getting bullied like crazy, right? Then I had to deal with another situation because I started messing with a girl that was getting beat at that time. And I'm not, you know me, I'm not for that shit. Yeah, absolutely. So I started going back and forth with him all summer. And his family was with Bloods and it was getting messy. And then my friends had to come in. All that, all that craziness, right? She was from Lodi. So the girl that I was really liking was was from Lodi at that time. After that, that was it for like Lodi chicks. Like at, at that time. Oh, then, so that was a wrap. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even on purpose. It was just... We it, had it, Bloods and Lodi? Oh, yeah. Well, if you only knew. We'll have that conversation wow. after the podcast. Bloods, Crips. <laughs> wow. they, here, they here now? Wow. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Salute, man. Oh, man. Nah, they, they, they all cool people, though. They all they all cool. And a lot of people... Well, my bad. A lot of people grow out, grow out of that shit, too. But, um, yeah, after that, I was actually always interested in, in females that lived in New York. To be honest with you, for the most part, yeah, because they be they be like a little more down to earth and not trying to play all these games. Like, yeah, are we doing this or are we not? <laughs> yeah, it was very more down to earth. Um, and then, but then I ended up meeting that person that I took to prom, and it, I yeah, I was just always that type of person that I would just do my shit. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> in, in different towns and different areas and shit. So I remember when I brought her to prom, it was uh, a couple people kind of woke up a little bit, but now nah, she she was really cool too. She was a really cool individual. Um, that was actually my third prom I went to. I went to three proms. Yeah, I was fortunate to go to one. Uh, that's all I needed because I didn't even want to go. My mom was like, "You should probably go," and I was like, "I don't really don't. Just, just go." I was like, "All right." Yo, I went to the first prom I ever went to. I actually told this story earlier on the IG Live. Shout out to Reef. Uh, me and him did kind of like a little podcast thing uh, for an hour on IG Live. Word, shout out to Reef. Yeah, so the first time ever, right? So this is back in the day. Sometimes, some of y'all might not know about these times when we had AIM and we had chat rooms, right? Not days. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> so I used to be bored in the house. Like back in the day, you used to just quarantine because that was life. You know what I mean? You were just in the house on AIM and shit, right? So I met a chick. Her her username used to be AJP914. Shout out to her. Um, so I used to chat with her in the chat rooms, and then I was chatting with this chick online for like years. Mm-hmm. Like just like not even like really crazy, just chatting with the person for for years. I'm talking from when like when AIM first came out when we were like eleven. I was Ish. talking to so many people, like so many girls. Like I, I think I had a lot of had a lot of aim girlfriends that I did <laughs> real yeah, life. Yeah, right. No, no, for real. That's like, on. Yeah, there was there was. That's a whole nother podcast. Just <laughs> talking about aim, aim and AOL. Girlfriend. Yeah, Talk about long distance relationship. <laughs> word. So I was one, and then she was the one because, like I said, I think everyone had those experiences, right, with aim and AOL, right. She was the one that just stayed the longest. Mm. Like we were always just chatting and shit. She was from Colorado. Wow. So and that, so that was a little, that was a different experience. But you know me, I'm crazy. So, wait, wait. Let the viewers know how old you were. At this time, well, we started when I was like 12, okay. 11. Then at 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 this time, <laughs> this is very important for yeah. The then to listen. yeah. Then this was late 2015. Okay. So you no no I'm lying no 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 2005. I my say, fives are getting messed up. So you were 2005, from 12 so, to 15. Yeah, well, yeah, I was no, I was yeah, 12 to 15 years old, right? Okay. Those were the years, maybe maybe even younger, because it was like when AIM first came out. But whatever. So really long time. Then I'm like 15 years old, and me and this chick are like still kind of talking on AOL, like being casual, and she mentions her problems coming up, mm. and I'm like, well, I've been bored. I've always liked to travel. I just want to get the fuck away for a little bit. I was like, ah, oh, but I be your prom date. <laughs> Don't tell me you went all the way to Colorado for a prom. I mean, that's pretty cool, to be honest. I did. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. How was it out there? 
It was whack. It was like, I, I mean, I'm not tested. <laughs> I, I was so hoping for it. Nah, the nah. hope was there. Nah, it was so and he was like, whack. nah. <laughs> Yo, I mean, it was it was a dope oh, experience. Shit. Like, I've had so many stories, man, that we could have Joe's story time for days. I'm, but I'm here for it. <laughs> it was, um. so I flew into Denver. Denver is, she lives... She lives pretty much all the way west Colorado, like on the border of what, whatever Colorado and the next state next to that is. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> but all the way to the west. Colorado is more in the east. So I flew into the east and then she had to pick me up and it was a four hour drive to where she lives at. So she picks me up from the airport and shit. And it was super awkward because like she didn't catfish me, but she kind of catfished me. Also, you were tight because not only was it whack at the prom, but she also catfished you. She, yeah, she, it, so that's like a double whammy She, she kind of catfished me a little bit Like she was definitely not She didn't really have any photos And it was like the face photos And this and that It was like <laughs> I'm sorry Like she, she kind of catfished me Or whatever and, and I'm no one perfect I shouldn't be talking But it was oh definitely Kind of a catfish God. right So whatever I go there And you know We chilling We having a really good time though Still We do the road trip and then she shows me her town. It was actually really dope. She took me on like the fucking mountains, like the mount, like mountains, mountains. Oh, she, Not she like over here. Tour. Yeah, like the like the tour tour over there. Okay. And she lived, bro. To get milk was like a seven minute drive. That's far. To get milk, to get your close, the closest thing, was like a seven minute drive. Jamestown ain't even that bad. Like, Jamestown's bad, but Jamestown is just like a. Like so a, it like took a, seven minutes just to get some milk. To milk, so that, and the houses are far apart. So where her house is, is like okay. Her house was here. The next house is about where your car is right now. Wow. Maybe even a little bit farther. That's swear to God. Good. I actually like that. Nah, see, I don't. I don't like that. I'm, I'm a people person. Like I'm. Oh, I'm so weird because I'm like an introvert, but I'm also like a people person. But I'm, you gotta understand, we we are dense. We're a dense state. Like people don't be like people coming here. Like wow, y'all don't y'all don't believe in no room. Y'all y'all don't believe <laughs> yeah. in no room. Like clearly not. Nah. Even New York got that. We we packed to the from top to bottom. From yeah, top to oh, this whole area. So over there, I mean that's how most of America is though. That's the crazy part. So you know me, I'm like mind fucked. Like I'm looking at this shit like wow, like okay, very very different. And we're chilling. We having a good time. You know we go over there. She shows me the dress. We do all that. I mean her parents and shit. The whole shit. It was cool. We were kicking it. But then it was still just vibes were just different because, like I said, she kind of catfished me. So I'm kind of feeling some type of way. She's nervous because this is the first time she's ever doing this. Even though we've talked since I was like fucking 11 or 12, it still was like, okay, wow. Wait, this she is, was the prom at 15? And she was older than me. Oh. She was older than me. So that means she was what? Like 17? Well, well, at the time, actually, I was 16. I'm sick. I was, I was, I just turned 16 when the prom. So yeah, it was actually, I was 16 years old, to be honest with you. And she was. 17 about to 18 or 18 so or whatever. Yeah, something like that, like a year or two, right? So whatever that we we go to the prom, we do all that. It was kind of cool, cool vibes. I was actually really kicking it with her friends. Her friends were like mad cool and they were like asking me mad questions. I was Jersey, New York, all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I was getting all that. But then I'll never forget, yo, that night. That night was the worst I ever. Well, no, I've gotten fucked up, like drunk, when around those years as well too. Because those were the years when I actually used to drink and shit with my friends and Mikey and all everybody. But that was the first time I ever blacked out. So you were knocked out, cold. bro. Because at the end of the night, like I was getting, I was getting kind of pissed because the vibe was just still really off on her, and it was so different from all those years of chatting online. Yeah, it was like. It was like I, like literally, you know, it was just a whole different kind of person. It felt really weird. So I was in a different mood. She was kind of in a different mood. We went to like a hotel after the prom to do, like, you know, a little party or whatever. And we chilling. I'm kicking it with her friend, way more than her. She's actually in a whole other side of the hotel. I'm kicking it with her friend, and her friend was just like, "Okay, we're gonna start drinking. We're gonna go shot for shot or something like that with um, in tequila or Patron." And then. That was it. I don't know. What happened after that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know. I started going shot for shot for shot with this girl on the, on the fucking bed with her friend. And then I know the next morning I woke up and we were going to the airport because my flight was the next morning. And I was changed. I was in different clothes. I don't even know. Like I woke up in different clothes. So I don't. <laughs> somebody. I don't, somebody dressed you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Do you know how fucking scary that shit is? Because you don't know what you did. First of all, the fact that you woke up in one clothes and then woke up in another, and you're like, like I, I woke up changing. in different clothes. I think that's the part that's like, like I you? think I was still like in my like almost suit kind of shit because you know it was after the prom. Yeah. So I think I was probably still in a shirt or whatever. And then I woke up in a completely different shit. But it was in my clothes that was in my bag. But I, and I was like, yo, I did not, yo, no, I probably. Well, shout out to the person who got you dressed. If they but what did. if I dressed myself in front of everybody? That's what I'm like. I'm like, yo, who the fuck knows? Your swag. What happened? No, what happened? That sounds like a, something that you write in a story somewhere. Just make that whole shit up. Be like, yo, I, this that is that what piece. I, yeah, you yeah, make. That, this is what I think happened. This is like different episodes of what it really is. I mean, at the end of it, and, and no one told me. So. I tried to get it out of her afterwards, and she was just like, "Uh, you just got really, really drunk," <laughs> and she didn't really mention it. So I don't fucking and like I said, and she, I think she was pissed because I, I'm pretty sure me and her friend hooked up because we it was like very I like mean, what you think it was very happened? intimate when we were going shot for shot and shit like that. So and then like I said, she wasn't really giving me no time of day, and it's like bitch, I fucking flew to Colorado to see your ass. So I was pissed. You know me. Story of my life. <laughs> so yeah. So you know me. Word. You know what I'm saying? As a fucking kid, it's like someone that's been you know doing all that shit. So I'm a wild dude for just even doing that trip. But I'm I'm that type of guy. YOLO and just fuck it like why not right it was legitly someone I was chatting with every day on fucking instant messenger for, for fucking four years or something so whatever it was just a funny story funny experience because that was the only time I ever blacked out like I've gotten fucked up I've, I've gotten like very very drunk with, with friends and we have stories for days and I can call them right now we have some funny fucking stories like funny stories, but I never blacked out. I, I know exactly what happened. Word. That was the first time. So Colorado, I everybody. Shout Colorado out. and tequila. And tequila. I won't do tequila again. Shout out. Give us the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? What, what about you, man? Any crazy stories like that? Um, I I got a funny story. And if, if you want to bring high school days in, because <laughs> yes. I got honestly, I have zero. Elementary story because I never left my house. Really. Okay, I just went to school. So yours was a little after mine. Okay, yeah, middle school, uh, nothing because I didn't, I didn't like leave my house again. Uh, went, was always home playing video games. But high school and college. <laughs> oh, let's start at high school. All right. High school was fun. So there was one time where I never really drank alcohol like that, and we went to a party, and it was me and a couple, couple, couple of my friend, our friends. <laughs> In uh, high school And we went to this party Of people in another town Like we didn't It was like another town And it was like It was a lame ass Getty kind of type of party But it was outside And somewhere <laughs> Lame ass But it was the people Who I was with That made it memorable Because my boy He was like he I never see him Really drink And then my other friend He was drinking So They always be going At it sober <laughs> So then So then When they were both Like tipsy my boy was like ripping at my other friend and then he was he's, he's a bigger dude and he was like man if i keep it up and that's gonna be a wrap i was like and i'm in the middle like y'all ain't gonna do nothing <laughs> because i'm gonna hit both of y'all asses and it was funny because while he was like so my boy he went to go pee on the side after i told him to leave so he just we were just peeing out in the open around this car and then my boy was just like Yo, I think I saw it, man. He got a tiny wee. I'm like, no, nah, man. No. So then he got tight as hell. And then I, I calmed that down. And then I, as I was peeing myself, because I had to break the seal, my boy, who's, you know, being the jokester and always coming at people's lives, he just looks at me. He's like, bro. And he just fucking took off <laughs> in the middle just, of the street. He just dipped. He just dipped. He just ran. And I had to run after him because this is the time I did track. And I just took off. And I'm like, yo. And then he just stops. And he's like, I was just checking. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? And he just walked back. And I'm just like, that was probably the funniest shit that ever happened. And he was just like, yeah, apparently sometimes when I drink, I just fucking run. I don't know. I just run. I'm like, that's weird as shit. But um, other than that, like, yeah, I mean, there's other times I went to other parties and I was always the the black guy. And I was just like, are we going to do this? Like, if I was, if I knew what I knew now, I would have used that to my advantage and been like, all right, not only am I a jokester, but where's your girl at? 
<laughs> Whoa, damn. <laughs> Where, where's your lady at? Because you keep this up, we're going to have a problem. Yeah, come on. Coming at your life. Come at my life. Because uh, all this attention you're giving me, I'm going to be giving to your lady. So that's that's honestly, I wish I knew what I knew now. But I was like, you know what? That shit came back later, though. <laughs> That came back later. That came back, right? <laughs> came Fuck back. him, bro. Fuck him. I don't really give a damn. So, what about any other prom stories? Any, any interesting prom story? Nah, I mean, honestly, prom? the only thing that was interesting in prom was when I did prom weekend, but I didn't do anything. We just, I think we just drank and that was it, but that wasn't, that, honestly, it was really nothing. It was just, honestly, me on vacation going to Wobble. Bro, I'm so trash. I just, I just, I just remember something else. I remember the, what the, sec, the second prom story. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we Yo. just gotta have a podcast <laughs> called just prom. prom Stories. Nah, but this one was even crazier because, all right, so, and it just reminds me how much, how many times I've talked to, like, women, like, online. Super trash. So nah, nigga. We I guess we both trash because that's all. <laughs> that's how I learned so quick. <laughs> so, all right. The next year was the next prom was when actually we were juniors. Okay. I don't know if you remember, but you're allowed to go to prom as a junior. Yeah, I remember that. I remember you're allowed to go to prom. And as a I was like, fuck it, because I like doing shit, right? So I signed up for it, and then there was also this other girl. That I was just very casually speaking with on um on AOL or one of those things at that time. Very casual. Like I'm talking casual to the point where like I thought it was like fake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like you thought like, damn, this is too good to be true. No, nah, not even like they would barely write barely any photos, like stuff like that. Like very bare bone. Right? And you know when you when you talking often and shit like that, you know you happen to mention, oh, I got a prom coming up and shit. And just for shits and giggles, I think I asked her like, you know, you want to go, <laughs> or like something like that. And she actually said, yeah. So I didn't think she was really in our high school. Or- yeah, 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 this was junior year. Why do I? I, I, I was I was gonna think why do I, I don't know that, but clearly I wouldn't because I didn't. Know. I didn't go to prom. That's what I'm saying. Our, Our junior, junior year. year no. And I actually wanted to go with that because I had a lot of friends in that grade. Yeah. Like, that was Mikey's grade. And, and I had a lot of friends that and from class of all seven. Like, actual f- close friends that I was cool with. Like I said, our grade, you know, I didn't really talk to many people except Chris and you and very, very few people. So, I was like, I just would like to be at that prom because I feel like since I've been in Lodi, I grew up with those with that class. So that was one of the main reasons too why I wanted to go, you know, um, just to celebrate it with with them, like Danny Jamin, you know, uh, Jessica Hoskins, like all those people, you know. Oh. You but you remember you remember like that. I was cool with her brother Rob, but Jessica. Was, I was I was Jessica, cool with Jessica. Man, shout out to Jessica. <laughs> shout no, out to Jessica. Um, you know, Rob was mad cool. Me and Rob, <laughs> I remember when the Jadica CD came out, we both walked to Kmart and got the. Together, they used to live up by Arnold. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to. Yeah, I used to chill around. My mom chill. knows their family. And okay. Yeah, that's how I knew. Cool. I, that's how I knew Jessica. That, okay. I just knew her first before I knew she had a brother. I was like, oh, she had a brother, and then he was like, wait, oh, you know my sister. I was like, yeah, it was man. That was the funniest thing. Yes, yeah, I I knew Jessica because, like I said, I I literally that whole that whole year is because Jamie was in that grade. Right. So. You know, Rob was fast. <laughs> Rob was fast. Rob was fast. He was in track. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was fast. And then and then Jessica was fast for the girls. Yeah, she was quick. No, I, I like I said, I would kick it with her. We'd just go to the house, just kick it, just literally just kick it on her front porch when she lived right over there. Where? And uh, then a lot of time Rob would be there, so Rob would just be outside. We actually would always kick and listen to music because he was a big hip hop head as well too. Word. So we used to just chill and just jam out in the front, and then that was it. You know what I mean? But um, so yeah, I was cool with a lot of people in that grade. So I was like, all right, the problem is happening. I want to go just to be in the vibes with everybody, and fucking why not? So I'm talking to this chick. I tell her about the fucking prom, not thinking she's really gonna go. I give her the info and shit. Yo, then so the the prom date is coming up. I really invite someone else. Like I really invite this girl to come with me to the prom. Like someone locally here. Cause I'm, you know, like I said, the other I just mentioned it in conversation. I wasn't even taking it seriously. It was just someone online and shit. We even go this chick over. I mean, we go. I think I, I bought the dress for her. Man, fucking, you be doing the most, man. You be buying nah, dresses man, you, out here. You got to take care of your lady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm. I, well, shit. Don't even get me started. You got now. Nah, we we just have different perspectives on that. I'm your princess laid out over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's just listening to him like, yeah. Um, no, nah, I, I, we have different perspectives on that, right? So I'm just about the even, and she wasn't even my girl. But if if I'm taking you to the to the prom, you're my date, so I'm taking I'm taking care of you. You know what I mean? Like, I you're, think that all you, all she got was the rose out of me. That's all. What, what they nah, call the crochet, nah, whatever that is. Nah, you got see, the flowers, and that was I was like, damn, this shit expensive. Nah, <laughs> nah, I, I bought the dress, all that shit. I bought the shoes too. Probably, oh, I, probably, I, I probably even paid for the hair and the nails. Joe, you be acting like these girls are wife ready. No, nah, but you be husband ready, but you be thinking these girls are wife. No, nah, I, I wasn't even thinking that. It was prom. I was just like to, you know, prom is pre wedding. Nah, not at all. That's, it, that's exactly what. Prom oh, is. nah. For me, you know that. For me, the chick that I was bringing was just to go with and just have a good time. Yes, <laughs> and we both knew that. So the funny story is, I had to cancel on her that day of. Because guess what? The other chick really came. The girl from fucking Connecticut that I was barely speaking with online, she really showed up. Oh, so you had to switch it up real quick. So real, like that day. So you so you bought a dress for this other girl, and then you realized the other girl from Connecticut really Actually gone. showed up. So then what'd you do with the dress? Oh, the girl already had it. Because remember. So all your money is... Gone. God, everything gone. You should have had two I, girls. I, 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 nah, that would have been crazy. Imagine. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Yo, but I'm telling you, homegirl pulled up in a taxi from fucking Connecticut to my house. I swear to God, I walk out to Vries Park. Swear to God. Like, my mom knew about this shit, too, because my mom and me were, like, best friends. So, like, she knew about everything. And, you know, like, the girl was, like, really texting me and shit or whatever at that time, like, Oh yeah, I'm on my way. Like, and this was way. and this was like out of nowhere because, like I said, this chick would barely even write me online. Like, this was just someone that you like barely even spoke to, but it came up in convo one time about the prom, and I joked like, "Yeah, come with me, whatever." So, yo, the day of the fucking prom, she legitly comes. She's like, "I'm, I'm looking out my fucking door. I'll never forget it." I see the fucking cab pull up, and this bitch comes out the car, and I <laughs> swear to God, man, I was just like, "She really fucking came." Like, holy fuck. And this was also, like I said, because her profile was so suspect. This was almost the first time seeing so her. So, were you catfish or not? Not really. Kind of. I mean, not. You know how it was back then. Like, back then, in like MySpace days and shit, you either had like your, your photos and shit on there, or you had like one photo and then a bunch of like meme type shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, know what I, you know how it was, right? It was either one or the other. Your page was either kind of you. Or the, I mean, how it is now? Yeah, but more, more. It was more. It was more people doing the the graphics of shit, cartoons. Yeah. You know, it was more we were coders back then. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we were pretty. I mean, especially Zanga. You ever had a Zanga? Nah, I knew about you, it. Uh, I, was I on, knew about that was it. like blog. That was like the first blog style shit. Yeah. So, whatever. The girl really came, man, and it was just the most craziest shit I've. I've I experienced it, one of the most craziest things in my life, and I almost forgot about that shit because that was the second prom experience. And the girl really come, and then I felt so bad, bro, because I had to cancel on the other one because I wasn't gonna cancel on a girl that just came here from Connecticut. Yeah, you can't do that. Bro. You can't like that's just crazy. Yeah, now you have to take it to prom and do you know and do it and do the thing. So I went, and it was just so awkward, bro. And it was just, and it's like looking back at it now, like I wonder if she ever thinks about that. It's like what the fuck? Like I don't know, man. I guess some people just. Man, you went all the way to Colorado. You questioning this girl coming from Connecticut? I, I think but you should it, be uh, commending this girl for her. No, nah, nah, but, but it's different though. The one in Colorado, we legitly spoke every single day on AIM. And then when when so that was the meme when when you talk all that smack online, yeah, that, and then that, we meet up in person, that shit quiet. That that's how that was. But I'm telling you, legitly from when AIM first started, we st- we found each other like through a chat room. Like first And then we just Every day You know just casual talk Nothing crazy Just casual conversation You know how it was Through AIM You go on AIM And they you know Hit you up Just like now With Instagram and shit So that was different That was like In a weird way Even though I did that It was like I knew her At that point You know what I'm saying Like very very fucking well This other one Was just a so casual Very very random And it's just like It just was crazy So the, the problem was fun and shit And then eventually She ended up going back home I think she stayed the night And went back the next day Or some shit That was just crazy And then the, the one with Ma- Maria The third one That was just basic At that She you know, she was cool we had, we had a good time and shit But it wasn't like So of those three dates Which one was the best? The second one Oh she was like 
the kinetic the kinetic kid she was actually fun like she was dancing oh okay like cool. she was you she connect to her nah i have no idea i don't after that i don't think we have like spoke again i don't even remember this was like i said this was a fucking Listen, man. junior year you know you who knows facebook could find them i'll tell you that i don't even remember. i think her name was courtney i think that's what it was I think you need to. Uh, <laughs> nah, it was fun. Open it was, that book up. But I, I will say, crazy enough, 